everyone, everyone, right now, just actually at the air show with my family. It is the one of the biggest actually in North America. And uh, taking my kid out for his second time, so hope he enjoys it. See some planes, see some fast things other than cars, so hope you guys enjoy this episode. All right, so one thing I've been working on for the past few days actually is kind of trying to match the shape of this quarter panel. Now, if you look right here, this is the driver's side and I'm literally just kind of rocking on that panel, kind of trying to, you know, see what type of shape I'm working with or if I pinch my applicator, I'm able to kind of replicate that curve of that body. Now, right now with the other side, the large side with that quarter panel replacement that I've been working on, if I put my applicator probably dead center of the wheel well where I have the uh, other side that I did, you can still see that I have a small gap underneath. So I really don't have any shape right now on that quarter panel all the way down to where it needs to have that shape. The front end of the panel is looking good, but the rear or the middle needs that little kind of gap in between there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my applicator, mix up a new batch of some lightweight filler, kind of use it and pinch it like that and try and replicate that shape on the other side. Now I'm not looking for something like a, an eighth inch or anything in here. I'm looking for something small, like a 16th. All right, so we're gonna try our best to see if we can kind of mimic that shape, keep it natural like the other side. We're not gonna do anything too crazy here. You know, as long as it looks fairly close to it, or at least has something more than just being flat, I'll like it. So I've applied a really thin, thin, thin coat on the roof here with this uh, repair area that I was actually working on with these rusted spots on the roof. I think when I was grinding things down, I may have applied a little bit too much of grinding that it actually kind of drawed in a lot of heat that kind of made the panels on the, on the roof here uh, warp a little bit. This hopefully should correct that small little issue. Other than that, the rest of everything is looking nice. The quarter panel here is still curing. I'm just gonna let that sit for another 10 minutes before I start to block that off. I went ahead and I also did this area here with some lightweight filler and finished up up top here as well with some lightweight filler, giving it a coating. The doors, they are done. They're, they're blocked off nicely with the two spots that are an issue and they're done. The quarter panels, uh, two spots, I got one little area right here that's an issue, and this is actually an area where I had some rust development before that we sealed over with epoxy, but I'm actually going to just ensure that this doesn't come back as a problem, so I'm gonna grind this out and put some short strand filler over it and then reseal it with the epoxy.
small little gap. Much nicer. So we are 1.47 in the morning. And I think I might be done for tonight. I'm gonna wait for this final uh, final application of the lightweight filler to dry, cure, and then I'll block that down. Everything on the car other than that one spot is ready. I've gone over this with the lightweight filler, block this down nicely, the entire roof with all those replacement areas where I had uh, rust development that I've kind of grinded out and filled that is nicely blocked down. Um, these final spots down here are also complete. The quarter panel there that I had replaced, that small section, that's done. Front fender's done. I just literally have to wait for this to cure and I'm probably done for tonight. Pretty much the exact same. If not, fairly close. to the back here. All right, so I went around once more, one final time, over the entire car. Now, what I actually had to do, since I actually let my epoxy primer cure for more than two days before applying another top coat, was I actually had to scuff the entire car again, which is fine because it actually had me go over all the spots on the car that potentially needed an additional touch-up, and I found a couple spots that needed some uh, additional filler in the front bumper area. Sorry, the front fender area and a couple spots on that one as well. But other than that, the entire car is technically ready for the next phase. And now the, the next phase is actually reapplying the epoxy primer that I have left. I have a little bit left that I'm gonna try and go over all the opened areas that I've exposed some fresh metal and reseal everything and kind of protect mostly these quarter panels. I wanna get these quarter panels covered in that epoxy and protected. And within 48 hours, within my recommend, oh, within my recommended top coat time, I'm going to start applying my high build. So that's probably going to be tomorrow. But what I'm going to do this evening is get this painted with the epoxy and get this sealed up again, and move on to high build. So I just finished painting. I opened the garage door to let some air, air in here and kind of clean things up. Uh, the application of the epoxy went on rather nice. I'm getting more comfortable using the gun more and more. I actually had enough that I could go around the entire car and just do one coat. So I went ahead and I just did one coat everywhere on the entire thing again. Um, now I can go ahead and throw on high build and have a you know good chemical to chemical bond and be happy with everything so so this is the last step that i need to do before i go ahead and throw on that high build primer basically i am just doing my final finishing and filling those scratches those pinholes and this is the product that i'm going to be using to get that job done i'm basically going to go over the entire car with this product and uh, take care of those little blemishes so i really don't have to worry too much on depending on high build to fill that because it may not fill that and i would have to end up blocking more of the car down 
something I don't want to have to do really because I don't want to have to go through on this epoxy primer. This is kind of the final piece protecting the car as much as possible. So let's see what we can take care of properly with this icing filler. Other than that guys, that's probably going to wrap up this episode. I did forget as well, some people did request some settings that I used on my spray gun. I will do that in my next video on the high build because this one is more of a just a quick coverage here. The high build will be a little bit more in depth and detailed. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in a couple days because I have a 48 hour window with this epoxy primer before I have to get that high build on because I don't want to have to scuff this car again. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you later.